do it. Hi, my name is Rachel McDonough, and this is my friend. Hi, I'm Susanna, and we're here at the beautiful Madison Square Garden for the big fight, and you are watching True School Sports. Roberto Ramirez versus Triple G. How does that play? I think it's a good fight. Good I think fight. Uh, Ramirez uh, has exceptional boxing skills. Um, I think he's tough. He's the bigger man by nature, so he, he may be able to hold up a little bit better against the punching power. The only thing is that swooning that people often do under a jab. He gets in there. But you haven't seen your man fight confident. somebody who's an elite fighter who's, who comes to fight. I'm not confident in his body. Yeah. Well, I mean, Abraham didn't come to fight. Abraham came for paycheck. Yeah. Well, but let's not forget Abraham's one of the biggest punchers in boxing. He's slow and methodical, so not quite as dynamic as Triple G, but what's the last thing you lose? He, he can punch. You can punch. He's like the George Foreman of <laughs> super middleweights. Yeah. I like that shirt. Thank you. Oh, no. So they agree with you, Thomas. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I got this on my hand. I, mean, I, don't know. Honestly, I think this is the way the shorter the porter goes after guys. <laughs> the way he did, he, he just he gets them in the corner, he just like mauls and balls them. I think that he could push out Spence because Spence, when he fought Barrera, he was getting pegged by shots he shouldn't get pegged by. Like his defense isn't really that great. His offense is something else. But his defense oh. needs a lot of work. And if against a guy like Sean Porter, who mauls and balls and he lives off rolling with people, I could see like the porter at least dropping him throughout the fight. He, he, listen, he will probably do this joke, but I could see Broner beating him too. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Consider it. Jesus Christ, Consider. are you serious? A train Broner. Broner. Earl a, tra a train Broner. A train Broner. Not, not the Broner oh. now. The Broner fought Maidana. Broner who can beat who? Spence. No. Yeah, no, no, no. Consider gets, it. I'll consider he, it, but he I'm even, saying he's... He even dropped Porter in the last round. I'll, I'll consider him hitting the canvas. Dude can get outclassed. Are you a true? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dang, I, I, I like you, Thomas, you know, but no. <laughs> well, think about it, though. Bruno's got the hand speed, he's got the power. Especially, especially but he's not a natural welterweight. He's not. A, he doesn't even. He doesn't no, even. No, yeah, if it's a trained Bruno. Okay, a train. If it's, if it's anything less than 100% trained. He, he trained never Broner, trains. Seriously. Okay, so when was the last time he trained for like a fight? Seriously. My dog. I'll throw that in. Did you see him yeah. against Theo fight? Did yeah. you watch that fight? Yeah. Okay. Theo fight was beating him by shots. I don't think Broner has an inside game with Pete. Errol Spence at all. At all. At all. And uh, Porter, either. He, he constantly smothers his own work. If you look at his first fight, and even some of his second fight with Julio Diaz, he does that all night. The only fights where he was able to get off cleanly in and out and get on the inside and get out was against Devin Alexander and Pauli Malignaggi. I think Errol Spence is better on the inside than both of those guys. I see him beat them both, to be honest with you. I mean, he steamrolled Algeria easily. Nobody's ever stopped Algeria. That's not that easy guy to stop. Like. I think Spence is going to stop Algeria too. Oh. That's not the contest. Yeah, Thurman would stop him. Yeah. I, I think Thurman would be the, the best fight for Errol Spence. Oh, yeah. Personally. Yeah. I wouldn't throw, I wouldn't you know, because like, we, we spoke about it in the back. You know, a lot yeah, of did. people want to say, oh, well, Thurman got hit with that body shot. Nine out of ten guys would have went down from a liver shot, number one. He didn't go down. And he stopped dude on his stool. I give him Guerrero or the winner of uh, Ortiz. Fredo. I wouldn't mind that. Who's so Spence? You think Spence against the winner of Ortiz Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be entertaining. Dude, I think Spence sounds so cheap. I don't think Ortiz has the heart to stand there. Especially on the body shot. You know what? Actually, I'd rather see um, Osacito Lopez get a rematch with one of those guys against Ortiz or Berto. To be honest with you. Because Berto and Berto turned Osacito to a street fight. He just won that fight. I remember that. I don't know. I thought he lost the first five rounds of that fight. Yeah. And then he knocked yeah, him down. Berto the changed the entire momentum with those punches, man. Yeah. And Jose Fido went into his fight. Jose should have just tried to box him. Because he was having a lot of success there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm recording all of this. I'm recording all of this. Just, just, just getting all this amazing boxing talk on That's footage. What happens, man. <laughs> You guys I think do Snapchat at all? Mm -hmm. I, I don't. Did you get any of the Spence Algeria PBC banners? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're good. Man down. Man down.